Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to look at the steps to install the Windows 10 May 2020 update using the Update Assistant. While there are a number of ways to upgrade to Windows 10, Microsoft also makes available the Windows 10 Update Assistant to help you upgrade in case your PC is not getting the new version using Windows Update. If you want to install version 2004, you'll need to go to this Microsoft support website to download the tool, click the Update Now button, save it. You don't need to pause the video. I will be leaving the link in the video description so you can get to this page to download the tool. So once you downloaded the file, open it to start the installer and then simply click the Update Now button. Once the update assistant confirms that your computer is compatible with version 2004, it will proceed to download the update. Keep in mind that this process can take some time depending on your internet connection and the hardware configuration. Also, before proceeding with any installation of Windows 10, it is always a good idea to disconnect peripherals, including external storage and printers to avoid installation problems. Also, make sure to create a backup in case something goes wrong and you need to roll back. I have a video tutorial on how to backup your device and I will be leaving that link in the video description below as well. Once the update is ready, you will need to click the restart button to complete the installation. Once the installation completed, you can log back in into your account. And the initial setup process will, will start to complete the installation without affecting your files or your applications. And that's about it. You now just completed the installation of Windows 10 version 2004 on your computer. You can always check that you're running the latest version, opening the settings app and on system and on the about page, scroll down and under Windows specification, you should not read version 2004. Also, you can use the Windows key and R command and type the Wimber command and click OK. And as you can see, we're running version 2004. Remember to like the video and leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.